Hello tubers, it's your crazy British bloke here. Yeah? Well I ain't been around for a while have I? I've been bloody working. Well you saw my last video, eh? I was down with Joe down at the freezer plant in Toronto. Well we did three days there all over the weekend. Just knackering, absolutely knackering. It's like minus, I don't know, 15 or 20 in the bloody place. Just saps it out yeah. Lots of concrete work. Got that done. Then we came back and we're working up at the university, the science labs. And we're ripping out toilet blocks and uh, revamping them up, making them all nice and smart. But uh, I did get a little bit of an early one today. So I come home having a couple of beers. Don't know if I'm working tomorrow. Hopefully I'm going to have a day off because we work five straight now and lots and lots of hours. Um, anyway, I'm having a beer. So uh, <laughs> let me show you what I'm up to. Make a little bit of a James Ready cocktail, actually. Don't know if any of you want to try this, but it's really nice. Right then, tubes, here we go, eh? We got our uh, beer of choice, like we always like, the old James Ready, okay? And then what else we got is we got a little bit of lime cordial, look, eh? That's what we used to use in England. So we're just going to put a little splash in there, only a little splash, because you don't need a lot, look. Little splash in the bottom, and then we're going to put our James in. I won't be able to pour this properly, so we'll probably get ahead, because uh, let's do it over that side. There you go. Oh yeah, bloke got a lot of head on that one, didn't he? Does bloke like a lot of head, love? Yes. Bloke likes a lot of head. Oh, oh, there you go. But there you go. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of the old, got rid of the old bins. But uh, yeah, it's been knackering. Look, my hair's all dried out. Been ripping plasterboard out, all sorts of stuff. Um, don't know. I've got a lot to tell you. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right. Right then, tubers, like I said, I get back to you. Well, bloke's been a little bit lazy. I had a parcel come, I don't know, how long ago was it, love? Two weeks ago. Probably two weeks ago, yeah, parcel. Um, someone sent me a PM, said they uh, wanted to send me something. After watching my... Bangers uh, and Mash? No, yeah, Bangers and Mash video. It got posted onto one of their websites that they own. So I got this parcel come through. Here it is. There's my address. If anyone wants to send me anything, <laughs> don't send me anything nasty or anything, but there it is. Um, and what I got in that box was this, right? And it's absolutely <coughs> fantastic. Oh, dog's barking, right? Look, it says British Banger Sausage Kit. A DIY kit for making five pounds of British... Britain's best love sausages. And there is the website there. Now you can go onto that website and uh, you can order this sausage kit. And he does lots of other different sausage kits. Um, he sent me, let me show you, hang on, hang on a sec. Hang on, sorry about that. But he sent me a really nice letter. Um, I don't know if you can see that and pause it. And, uh, you know, you can read it, I don't know. I don't quite know if that's picking it up or not. And there's uh, another page here. I don't know if you can actually see that. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, there you go. And it's from uh, Martin Dew. Do. Martin Dew. Yeah. Do. do. Yeah, Martin Dew. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he sent me this. Basically, he's an English guy, and uh, he's living over here in, well, actually, he's living in America, somewhere in America, and he, uh, he's got this website going, and the story is that um, he used to work for a couple of the places over in England, uh, Waitrose and a few other places, uh, big supermarkets, and he worked in the meat departments, making sausages and stuff but he kept all the recipes now he came over to america and he couldn't you know he got down the bar to get uh sausage with uh, onion gravy and stuff and mash you know what they were saying bangers and mash and it was like rubbish so he decided to make his own sausages dogs barking make his own sausages but you can't make a company up in america making sausages because too much money and everything and all the like rigmarole of everything 
So what he thought he'd do with his recipes is make a company that supplies all the ingredients and stuff uh, and the know-how on how to do it to make British bangers. So this is a package with all of the different herbs and spices and stuff, right? And this is what it comes with. It, there's like all the all the herby stuff in there, look. So you mix in, okay? And like rusk stuff, and what else is in that box, look? A fork. There's a fork in there. Don't know why there's a fork in there. A fork like a and fork. A, a heat uh, and a thermometer. And a thermometer, heat thermometer. And a fork. Okay. A wooden fork. Yeah. But, um, and also, no, in there also, there's a, there's a thing in there, look. There's some paperwork in there. There's a, yeah. How to make now, it. this is like a how to, how to make it thing. Look, British bangers, and it's a how to make it, and it tells you, well, it's like, I'm not even going to open it, right? But it's a manual. It's a manual thing, all right? And it tells you exactly how to make sausages. Now, you, you can go out and you can buy, uh, get yourself like a, um, a meat grinder. And you can buy your own pork or beef or lamb or whatever you want to make. And you can grind it up like pure that way. Or you can buy really good already ground meat to use. And this seasoning goes in it and it tells you what else to put with it. Uh, I think it's got some sort of fluid that you buy and goes in with it. Then you need to buy yourself uh, the sausage casing, like the skin, and a sausage machine, which you can buy quite cheap. You, I've looked online and some of them are pretty good, which I was going to do and then make the video, but been working, so I'm going around to it. And you can make your own sausages, or you can just make like sausage pâtés without the skins on them and like just do them in a pan or barbecue or whatever. So I am going to go out and probably going to get myself a meat grinder and a sausage making thing that you put the sausage skins on and make sausages and that's going to be at a later date so we're going to make some real british bangers so i'd like to say thank you very much to martin jew right and uh you know what what a great person to send me this it's really good and it's going to make future videos and it's going to be fantastic. So let me just show you again. This is his website, yeah? You can go on there and you can order stuff and send it to friends. It's got lots of different stuff on there. So, uh, yeah, pretty good, eh? And bloke does like sausages. Now, what's, what else was I going to say? Um, don't know. Get back to you in a minute. Right then, tubers. Uh, not really got a lot more to say. Um, it's getting a bit late now. Going to make some dinner. Uh, what are we going to have, love? Don't ask. Oh, we're having, uh, we're having pasta again. Blake likes his pasta. So we're going to have some pasta with some ground beef. And we're using, what's that nice sauce we're using now? Paul Newman's. Paul Newman's. Paul Newman's. And my favourite one is like the five cheese one he does. Yeah, it's really good. So we're going to have that tonight with a bit of garlic bread. Um, got to get on with that, so I've got to go to bed early, so I'll get up early again, working again tomorrow. Um, sorry I've not been around my channel too much, but bloke's got to work, you know. The uh, <laughs> the bank don't like bloke at the moment, so uh, we've got to get some money going in there, so that's what I'm up to. Uh, summer's coming, going to do a lot of work around the condos, got a lot more painting to do and some fence repairs. I don't know, got some cars to pick up, like I said. Get on with that. Uh, I think the, the crazy hillbilly is going to come on me. We've got a stack of cars to go and scrap. Um, that's about it, about it, really. So, I don't know, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Remember, I am working a lot, so sorry there ain't no you know videos coming up much, but uh, I'll get back to you and I'll speak to you when I speak to you. Bye bye.